little DJ turntable thing going on here. I'll be safe. Don't stay up late. Oh, look, I pulled it down. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, I didn't drop in them all. Chestnuts roasting. Oh, it feels so good to be back. Yes. Has it been three weeks already? I'm sorry to keep you guys waiting. Man, I know, like I wanna put out a video for you guys every other day, but unfortunately with what's been going on, I have to stay home with the family, and be really, really safe. My coronavirus infectees are still over there in the building next door, and Hong Kong is sort of kind of going on a lockdown again, like a round two happening. So trying to minimize coming here to the office, but I'm here now. And surprisingly, a lot of you guys have been ordering from BigMeUpScotty.com. Thank you so much for the support. I guess you're all staying at home, so you might as well build. Yeah, store is still open. I do come in here very short to send out the orders. And finally, today, I have a little bit of time to set up all this equipment and shoot again for you. Good news is, I want to say thank you to Nikon Hong Kong, or Nikon, however you want to say it. They actually called me into their office a couple of days ago. So I went down there. And I picked up two cameras. Here, I'll show you a screenshot of it, of their new Z6 cameras. Yes, what does that mean? I hope I can actually do more videos for you faster. The cameras are a lot smaller. And also with these cameras, that means there's autofocus. So I can go like this and I should still be in focus. I don't know, I can't look at myself, but yeah, it's pretty good, right? And I can also go like this and be like, yo, check this out. Yeah, look at that. Or I can use this camera and be like, how you like them apples? Look at that. Woo! Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So stay safe, have fun, watch me. Let's do some reviews. Yes! Did I already say what's up? Welcome back to Big Me Up Scotty. If I didn't, welcome back to Big Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty. Today we are looking at Royal Toys, a local Hong Kong brick brand. They're doing original ideas. I think they're actually getting a lot better and they're having some fun sets coming up. And their theme is Hong Kong, Chinese. Yeah. So we're gonna start with, let's just start with the newest set that just came out last week. So this is Royal Toys Traffic Light RT23, 190 pieces. Okay, so the set is not that big at all, just a piece of plates here, but it's actually pretty cool. It's original, I like it. I like the fact that you're just trying to focus. If you want this for your city, there you go. It's the Hong Kong streets, you got crosswalk there, and yeah, it looks really nice, man. It's all printed, smooth. Now they did tile it here. There's studs here on this side, right there. And there's a couple here on each side of the corner. Kind of like the usual Lego road plates. There, there's a lineup. Okay, so the printing part is a little bit different, but still pretty cool. Cause this is on a 32 by 32 base plate, or you don't like the lines here. I'll do this one for an example, like that. There, yeah. There you go, knock yourself out. I'm not a road guy, so I don't know if you guys like roads or not, but it's actually pretty cool for your city. I got it for my city, which I hope I get up soon, but right now everything's kind of delayed. So my office is still being used over there. One of these days I'll clear it out, but don't worry, we'll get there. Since this is so small, there's no real big issues. So the tiles you see right there, they're kind of a little bit scratched up, but it's not that bad. It's just like a, it's like a real street, man. Doesn't have to be like perfectly clean. So a little trash can here. There are stickers on this trash can on both sides. Very simple. There's also a sticker on top. So yeah, this is more of an illusion of a trash can. You know these pieces. It's pretty simple. At least you get one. Okay, so there are stickers on the trash can, but I did not put them on the light itself. There is a sticker sheet here, which I'll show you in a second. I thought it actually looks pretty okay without it, except for the sign here. I did not put a sticker there yet because I can't decide what I want to put on. Sticker sheet is here, so you can actually choose. I can actually put it here. Here's a sticker sheet right there. It's gonna take me time to adjust using these cameras, but I'm liking this already. There you go, there's a the street light stickers and there's some street signs there. Those are real places, it's one that you would like to use. What do you guys think? You guys tell me, what do you think about that? Do you like it? Yeah, is it for you? You know what, and Royal Toys actually does have a brand new road that just came out as well. I'll put a picture if I can right now, so you can see it here. It should be available in the store by the time this video is out. But there you go, this is the traffic light. No minifigures, no vehicles, 
No issues for me. The stop lights are fine. I think those are pretty cool. The yellow things underneath are like the buttons that you push to cross the road. So there you go, in all direction. Really simple stuff, man. All right, so I put two stickers on just for you guys so you can see this is what it looks like with the stickers. What do you think? You like it with or without? Now, if I had to really, really nitpick about the set, I'd say like right here on the corners, this could be a slight flex here and that's just because it's being tiled. When there were no tiles on it, it was totally flat. So just so you know, it is a flat, flat base plate. So whether or not you want to tile it or rearrange it yourself, the choice is yours. So there you go. That's a traffic light from Royal Toys. Very cool for your city, you know, make a little bit of a Hong Kong thing going on in your town, yeah? All right, so the next two sets that you're seeing are sold separately, but I'm gonna combine them together right now. So this is Royal Toys Roasted Chestnuts RT21, 55 pieces. This one here, it's Royal Toys Fishball Hawker RT22, 69 pieces. These two are actually really cheap, and as I mentioned, all these sets are available on my web store, brickmapscotty.com. And you know, we want to test out an unknown brand, or you want to test out what these non-Lego bricks are like, they're perfect to try out, see if you like them for yourself. Or if you just want to add a little bit of a different flavor to your city or something very oriental, here you go. So we'll look at the chestnut stall first. Everything you see right here is all you get in one set. It's really, really small, tiny. I like it. Especially if you grew up here in Hong Kong, you've seen these guys outside, they're in the streets selling chestnuts and you just buy them in a bag, take them home, eat them. So here it is, this is a small food stall. So inside this pot, the black pot, are all the chestnuts that are roasting. You know, you can, I guess, make that whatever you want it to. It's pretty good, huh, when I do it like that. Yeah, look at that, close up. All right, so there on the side, you got a scale, and that is a print on there, and I, I, I think this thing right here is like a fire hydrant or a tool or, or gas. Maybe that's the gas. I'm not quite sure. And then here on the end is a sticker. That's a plastic bag. Bring your own bag. That's right. It's a nice little cart. It's really small. On this side, you have like a cup. I'm not sure why they're using like a goblet style, but they're just trying to make this thing more fancy. Another sticker there on the side. Then on the back side, you got the handle there for your minifigure. So underneath there, you got these tiny tiny teeny little wheels and that is pretty much more or less it there are a couple little things here next to the figure i'm not even quite sure what these are it's supposed to be like smoke maybe it's smoke or popcorn but i just stuck them on there anyway but there we go so the set does come with one minifigure it's a lady working on the set she has a shovel in her hand because she's got to shovel all the chestnuts she's got to be like i'm having too much fun with this she's got to be like oh shovel oh, i gotta shovel this make sure the roasted chestnuts taste good for you guys skin tone colors they're not the Lego yellow colors. She does have a little bit of grime and dirt on her outfit there. Colors, something less to be desired about, but there you go. That is a chestnut stall. Let's look at the fishball hawker. Just slide her out of the way. Actually, you can put her here on the street. Look at this. Yeah, we're getting somewhere now. Okay, I'm gonna slide her back. So this is the fishball hawker. Same deal as what you saw, the chestnuts. So there you go. Here, I'm with this close up here. So yeah, I think I'm missing one skewer that's supposed to like go in the orange one. There'll be orange colored studs there. Now, in case you didn't know, they're not fish balls, okay? Fish don't have balls. It's just like flour mixed with minced fish into these little dough balls. They actually taste really, really good. So they usually have like a standard flavor and then they have the hot spicy flavor. Same kind of sticker there with the plastic bag on the side. And that's just like a menu right there. The top is a little bit different from the other one. You can see those are the sauces along the top with the cup and a little bowl. I think that's like the money change. You change your money out. You get your skewer, you dip it in here. Okay, can I see it there? Dip it in that sauce right there. And more yum, 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 yum. Or a little bit more spicier, go there. And then you eat that thing. You know, I'm tempted to eat it for you guys, but I won't do it. Very, very basic. And the other side here, there's nothing there. A little bit of a gap. And underneath the tiny wheels again. Again, I'm not quite sure what this is then. Yeah, you guys let me know what you think that is in the comments. That's it for the fishball stall itself. It's very simple. It actually rolls pretty good. Like, oh, no complaints. Again, if you want to just try these out for fun, they're cheap, cheap. And of course, it does come with one finger. Again, lady, just like the other one. Where are the guys, man? Oh, we're going to see them in a second. She does have an apron on and she has a little bit of scuff marks on there. Printing looks fine. Looks pretty good. Again, skin tone colors. It looks okay. Let's put her like she's walking across the street. Yeah, I'll put her right, right there. All right. 
Oh, shoot, this one fell down. Oh, you're gonna fall down, lady. Don't fall down. Our street is filling up right here. Maybe I should split this video up into two. Now, you know what? Screw it, man. You guys deserve a long video because I haven't been around. So anyway, all right, let's just look at these guys right here. So same thing like the other pair. These two sets are in the same group, but they are sold separately. And these are the Royal Toys Yao Mate Fruit Market RT13 at 296 pieces and RT14 at 324 pieces. And now they look identical when you look at the pictures and everything, but there are some subtle differences and they're actually pretty cool because they do link together to make one giant or bigger little market. So again, if you do want to try like something new, but you don't want to spend too much and you want to just try something a little bit smaller or you want to support the local brands, these are great little guys. I think they're actually pretty cool. Let's look at RT13 first. Here, I'll stick the sucker right there so you can see it. Oh yeah, look at that. Now I can look at you guys. You can look at this camera and be like, look at this thing. All right, I'll do a quick little rotation for you. Wee! First thing you are going to notice that it is kind of a little bit plain. I mean, it's not structurally well, crazily built, but it's supposed to be a small stall. And this is what the stalls look like in Hong Kong. So you can see it's kind of opened up on the bottom floor there. And the green things that you see here, which are a little bit loose, it could have been more secured there because they're just on a single stud right there. Those are gates, but they are open here. They don't open and close, but they're, that's what they're representing anyway. And on the first floor, there's only a couple boxes there, and you got one ladder in the back. And there are a couple holes in the back here, which is gonna mount onto this one later. We'll see it combined together. Then you come up to the second floor and it's like, oh, there's nothing inside. But then again, like I mentioned, it comes with a bunch of little things. You can probably store upstairs. So you have more stuff up there for you. And if we look at the rooftop here, those are actually printed. Very nice. And I think a couple of them are slightly different shape. So, but that's pretty cool. You can vary that up yourself and make your own little dirty tiled looking rooftop, which is nice. The sign here on the top is a print as well, but you can see it's kind of cut in half because it's going to combine to the other one. So if you want the full sign, you got to buy the other set. That's the way it works, man. The cover pieces here, like little awnings that stick out, a little bit fragile to build. So you can see if I pull it under here, if you can see that, yeah, there you go. You gotta kind of snap it into the railing there, and sometimes they can kind of pop off, but so far, so good. And there's a couple like old school hanging lights there. Oh yeah, and more printed signs right there. More prints for you guys. Look at that, that sign and that sign, both the same signs. So on the second floor, there are windows on the inside, but they cannot open. No, they're all blocked by the awning, but I guess that kind of typical thing to see in Hong Kong. So you sacrifice the look for the functionality of it. The only way to tell these two apart is just one is green and one is more red. I just labeled it green and red. But anyway, let's look at the accessories that come with this one, the green one. Okay, so we got a bunch of boxes here, all stickers on all sides. This box right here, Tasmanian cherries, 43 degrees south. You got three of these. Will sat. Are you sad apples? There you go. Same deal. Oh, they have chicken on the side here. This is actually pretty interesting. So you're probably wondering what this thing is right here. Where's my focus? What happened? There you go. All right, so that is a real cloth that comes with a set and the little hair, like black hair band, rubber band thing. You got more underneath. So, you know, if your girlfriend loses one, then you'd be like, yeah, I've got more right here for you, girl. So I take this one off. You actually do get more boxes with more stickers, but these ones have stickers on the top of the boxes and they are supposed to be sun-kissed, right? But this is called sun-kiska, sun kisk. So I thought that was actually pretty cool. I'm trying to be like a little bit more authentic. We got a little fork lift, actually pretty good. Built really nicely, no issues. Move up and down. Now it does come with this crate. Ah, look at that, stickers on the wood. It is very fragile. It's not very well secured, but I like the fact that they did design it in a way that the crate fits on nicely. So again, it's one of those things where they design it to, so that it can kind of fit to the scale of this forklift. And probably the most non-brick looking thing is this little trolley or cart. It is definitely not really brick or Lego built. It's like a little model thing. You have to put these little pieces on, 
put the wheels on, but that is just like an additional bonus thing. And of course, you have plenty of little fruits, pineapples and apples. I have a pen. I have an apple. Apple pen. Pineapple pen. Apple pen. Pineapple pen. Pen, pineapple, apple pen. Oh, look, I'm missing the box in there. All right, so you got this mini figure here. He's wearing a tank top. So I think that's a tank top. Looks like arms look skin color as well. Does have some sideburns there. He does not look Chinese at all, but there he is working in the fruit market. He looks just fine. And put him here. We'll look at the other fruit market. Okay, so this one, you can see a little bit of a difference there. Biggest difference is the front does have a little door there and kind of swing open like that. So I do like the illusion, the effect that this looks like a sliding door, but those are stickers on the top. I'm sorry, man. So it looks good though. Inside, it's pretty much almost the same like the other one. It's very plain, two boxes there and a ladder. I like the fact that it does have a little door here. It's not supposed to open like that. It's supposed to like, like a shutter, like pshhh. Then you come to the second floor, again, nothing there. So the color scheme is different for sure, but same deal, the windows being blocked off and you have more printed signs there. And these don't have a meaning. It's just kind of like the name of the shop, just so you know. Underneath here, I have one light. It's supposed to be two, just like the other one. I have it here, but I was missing the hook to hook it in there, but that's fine. You get the idea if you see compared to this one here. I'll let this here on the side, there you can see it. It's supposed to be like that. So they're almost exactly the same, right? Same deal with the rooftop. Nice prints, dirty, grimy look. Before we put them together, I'll show you the accessories. It's almost the same. All right, bananas. Bananas in pajamas are coming into town. And look at them apples. The world's apples. I do have stickers going along the top there. And then same forklift like before. Yellow one. And the crate, a different color than the other one. And same deal, a little bit fragile. Does fit onto here nicely. And the same blue non-brick cart that comes along with it and another one of these let's see what's underneath this one okay so the boxes are different from the other one so you're gonna get different stickers for these sets all right these are more like mandarin or oranges there they're all individual boxes oh man i almost totally forgot about the apples and bananas that come with this well there you go and of course you get this figure these guys look more like soccer players they don't look like figures that work in a market but anyway, look, he's wearing a t-shirt. So he's got that piece that kind of separates the arm. So you have a little bit of skin tone there. Got a little bit of a beard. These guys are working hard, man. They have no time to shave. All right, now let's take these two sets and combine them together. If we put it together and go bam, there you go. The two street markets together. You can see what it looks like now with a sign together, complete, boom. Looks nice, yeah? Okay. The back side here. A little more plain looking, more, still more open there. But there, once you scatter everything around and you put it all together, it kind of looks cool. Is it for your city? Does it belong in a little corner? Yeah, it kind of does. It's kind of cool. I think I like it. So I'm going to keep mine. I'm going to put it in my city once I start it at some point. Now let's jump on to the last Royal Toys reviews for today, all right? Here we go. All right, so this is Royal Toys Hong Kong Tramways. RT 19, 948 pieces. Okay, so the cool thing is, is after you finish building it, it's really nostalgic. It looks like the classic Hong Kong tram. If you've ever been on one, Hong Kong side has these and you can ride them, still ride them today. But this one has the more classic old school look. If I remember when I was a kid, it was like this green and wooden look to it. The build was actually pretty okay but there are some small things here. I think they had to sacrifice a little bit in order to get the shape of the tram correct. Unfortunately, this being the classic tram color, I think it's a dust magnet, man. Man, dark bricks really pick up everything, don't they? It's got all that nasty hair. So this is more of a display piece. Don't give it to your kids. If you give this to your kids, I can guarantee you little things here and there will fall apart. First of all, we're gonna talk about the stickers, man. And holy schmoly, that's a lot of stickers. If I do a quick rotation for you guys, now, what I do like about the stickers, they have pretty good detail, and the windows look like wooden windows. But as you can see, I kind of suck at putting them on because the bad thing is, is the stickers are super thin, man. They're like frames, so if I 
take out the sticker sheet right here. All right. So you see all the square pieces, if I do it on this camera, like these square pieces, these aren't the stickers that you use. You're actually using the, like the wood frame that goes around it, like these pieces here. You gotta put them on the windows. My advice is use a tweezer. You have to use a tweezer. Don't try to use your hands like me or you end up like that. But the other stickers that are on the set are actually pretty okay. If we look here on the front, I'm gonna try to lift this up without breaking it. They're in Chinese and in English, so that's good. Like the ones here on the doors, just mine the doors. And there's a couple like headlight stickers here on the front. And I kind of wish those were more, you know, you, they probably could have bricked that out, but yeah, I think if they did, it would have stuck everything out and changed the design a little bit. I'm gonna try to lift this thing up without dropping it. So if you look here, it does have little tiny wheels. Those do go on tracks, by the way. I only have a very small track here. Well, that's good to know. It will fit on the track. Will it go on a curve? I'm not quite sure. It'll get probably stuck right there, but there you go. Now you know, it'll fit on your real, real track. Weakest part about this is probably the wheel area. Now where the wheels are, there's like little pieces right here. These can pop off pretty easy. I've seen them pop off so many times. Yeah, I wish they were a little bit more secure. So that's why, again, it's more for like looks, okay? And a lot of the pieces here are like being built, pushed bottom up so they can pop off quite easily. But all in all, it's holding into place. It's not too bad. Both sides are mirrored. This side does have a little extra sign there. The street. Witty Street Depot. So that is a sign right there. The doors do open and close. Be careful with them. They will pop off. It can come off the top, which is good. It's like a little modular tram. So there we go. Pop that off. Whee! Now we can go inside. There we go. So there's the inside. It's very, very skinny. It's very small. There's more stickers on those seats. Those are stickers, not prints. I wish those were prints, but that's okay. And you got the steering wheel on both sides because there's a front and a back. I, for the life of me, cannot read that sticker right there. Can you guys see that? Metallic shield blowout? Am I reading that right? I'm assuming this side here is the front because it's got all the like dashboard things going on. You got the compass there, joystick, and a little, I guess that's a little lever that you would turn side to side to control the speed of the sucker. And you do have a machine there for your octopus card. If you don't know what that is, that's a machine that you tap your card as like a cashless system. Now surprisingly, that is a print. Interesting, and next to the octopus machine is another type of machine where you drop in your coins if you still have cash on you. And those are prints too, by the way. So they do have some prints on this set. Ooh, there's another sticker there above the control panel. A little bit more detail on that one. Yeah, the back side of the door is the exit stickers that are also going over some circular studs. You guys might not like that, but at least it has detail. Gotta give them that. More stickers there along the inside of the wall, like how much it costs, no smoking. Ooh, priority seating stickers. And another small sticker up there. I gotta admit, the sticker details are actually pretty okay. And on both ends, you have a staircase that goes up to the second floor. Now, there are pillars here, right here, with little wood pieces on there. You have to be careful, they kind of press down and they're kind of a little bit loose, but once they're in, they're okay. So I didn't have too many issues with the first floor, but you do have to be careful because there's areas here. This is what the sacrifice I was talking about, right? So you can see there, there is a gap here, so straight here, right? So to get the shape of the tram, you have to actually kind of pull back and that's like the, sh the actual shape of it. But doing that, it leaves a lot of gaps here. So we push down here, these pieces can come off pretty easy. So again, that is why it's more of a display thing. You know, could they have connected it together or done something? It probably would have deformed the shape even more so. So it's like that on both sides there. So I stretch them open. Oh, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Okay, we'll roll that away. We'll come up to the second section. Oh, look at the scratchy sound. So it does not sit flat because there are lights. So it's a light up the first floor for you. The illusion of it anyway. And same deal, it does this whole flapping, flying thing like, oh, oh, caw -caw, caw -caw. The rooftop does come off, it's a little bit tricky, it's a little bit tight. I'm try to pop this guy off like that. Oh. So it's a little bit more plain on the inside here, just chairs, a couple of railings, and the same deal with the pillars and the wood panels that are kind of going across the top there. It's just, you gotta be careful when you're pressing everything down, things will fall off. But there you go, that's what it looks like here, like that. Look at that. Is that cool? There's those stickers again. Dang, those stickers. 
Just the inside again. Plenty of seats for your minifigures, though. Stickers on those seats, man. Those are stickers are a pain in the ass to put on the seats, too. Yeah, lots of stickers with a set, so you could actually try not putting the stickers on, but it might look a little bit plain. But again, oh, it's those frame, look at that. You can see it there. Look at the terrible job I did putting those things on. Another sticker there. The sticker Witty Street Depot again. And then a couple more here on this side. So on the back of the channel on the second floor, it's a little bit flimsy there. So be a little bit careful when you're trying to put that together. Don't be like me. You got a couple of railings here when you come up to the second floor. The little wood panels that you see along the top there, it's a little bit fragile. So you gotta just be careful. You don't press down on it. You know, again, don't let your kids play with it. They'll be knocking everything out off this thing. But overall, when it comes together, it's a pretty good looking tram. Now, just to show you guys, I put the minifigure there. You can kind of see him in the window. I had to raise his hand up because it kind of hits on the side there. But you can fit them in, but I suggest actually taking the chair out and throwing them in because you might fight and push the plate down here and push everything apart. But yeah, there you go. Minifigure inside there. Finally, we got the rooftop here. Probably the weakest looking out of the whole thing just because there's not much detail to it. And you do have a couple of lights underneath here. And also on the top, you do have like an antenna piece here. There's the antenna piece. Yeah, up and down, up and down. And you got a little number. I guess this is the tram number. Tram 120, yo. But it's pretty, pretty plain, pretty simple. I don't know what else they could have done to make that more nicer. Maybe they could have flushed it out here. I'm not sure, but okay, let's just put this all back together. Let's see if I can do this without breaking it apart. It's breaking on me. Okay, you can see some pieces here falling off like this. So this is where it's being held by a single stud. You know, when you hold things by a single stud, it's really easy to fall off. You know, a couple of rear view mirrors there, by the way, if I forgot to mention those. Oh, I'm knocking everything off this thing now. All right, that is the tramway. Did I forget anything? It looks nice. I like the dark colors of it. It's very nostalgic. Again, this is probably just gonna be for display if you're into the Hong Kong theme, or you can put it in your city if you feel like it fits there. I'm not so sure. It does come with one more thing, huh? Let's check it out. Slide this here to the side. It comes with a little tram stop. Woohoo! So if for, if for some reason you feel so frustrated with that when you're building it, at least you get something very simple to build here. This is the little tram stop here. Nice. It does have two figures with it. We'll take those guys off. It's pretty plain, but it does have a couple signs on here, at least. O'Brien Road, eastbound stop there. Same on thing on the other side, I think, there. Yeah, focus is working. And then you got a couple of like map details here. Super detailed. Look at that, it's a whole map right there. And another sign there. And some of the yellow lights. So this is a very simple waiting stop for the tram. Put your figures on there. Just take a quick look at them, yeah? So you got the passenger wearing a pair of headphones around his neck. Printing looks fine. Face looks okay, just kind of normal to me. But not bad, at least you get a figure with it. Then you get this guy, who is the tram driver. So he has a proper uniform on and glasses. That's about it, man. It's pretty plain to me, but there you go. You know, use that figure. You can use their figures or use your own figures. Dimension times. I don't know what happened to my other plates. Let's just measure these suckers up for you guys. So the markets are gonna be the same size as individually. So I put it here in the middle, right there for you. Can you see that? Yeah, that is eight, two, four, six, eight by 10, two, four, six, eight, 10. Eight by 10, there you go. I spin that right round for you. Right round, baby, right round. Now if we stick them together. Then you'll know that is around 16 studs. Yeah, there. Fits nicely on a single base plate. So yeah, if you wanted to just buy two markets, pull it back a little bit, connect them together, stick them down, create a little scene, market scene right there. There you go. Okay, now break out your one by four bricks. I finally got mine right here. Stack it up here to the tip right there. We'll push these together. You can kind of see that is 15 bricks in height. There you go, let's check out the tram height and dimensions. Ooh. Oh, it's longer than a 32 base plate. Oh, it's sticking out quite a bit. Like, buy two more, so 32, 33, 34. 34, yeah, let's say 34 studs. By the width, it's around eight. Yeah, it's more or less there. 
you get the idea anyway. Now let's check the height. Again, one by four bricks. Oh, it's short there. Let's add a couple more here from last time. There. Oh, stack it up right here. Right there. Yeah. There you go. So that is around 17 bricks in height, touching the top of this swivel part right there. Tram stop. Stop. Look at that focus. Not bad, yeah. It's pretty long, man. That is about 24 studs by length and six studs by width. I think the height is around eight bricks in height. We can only find out one way to be sure. Oh, look at that. Oh, you might have to add like maybe two more. Two more if you want to be like the top of the sign. Or maybe one is okay. Almost, almost, you get the idea, man. That's your dimensions for the Royal Toys. Do we need to do the traffic stop? Do we really need to do the traffic light thingy here? Slide it here. Oh, it's already on a 32 by 32 base plate, so you know that already. And then the height, the tallest one, Probably this guy. Eight bricks in height for you guys. Dimensions. Woohoo! So there you guys go. Royal Toys. Bunch of sets for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for still subscribing. Please subscribe more. Yeah, we need more subscribers. And I will be back with more. This is a temporary setup again. And I hope really soon I can get back into the role of things and giving you guys even more reviews. And thank you so much for all your love and support on the channel and the store. Don't forget to check it out on BrickMeUpScotty.com. And until next time, Brick Me Up! Here's a cool magic trick, check this out. This is my broken blaze, blah, 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 blah. It's my broken blaze plate. And this actually represents more of the Hong Kong street roads, for real. It's like pretty good, yeah? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. No, don't focus on my hand. Focus here. There you go. Oh, here. Don't focus outside. No, focus there. Having fun with the focusing on this camera. It's a lot easier for the camera to do it when it gets it right. Or you know, maybe you guys can buy like three or four of these and do your own mock and make it extend it out, whatever you want to do. It's actually pretty cool, right? So if I can go like this. Come on, focus, boy. Show me you can focus on this thing. Oh, now you don't want to focus. Come on, Nikon, Nikon, show me you can do it. What happened? There we go. No, don't focus on the back, focus on this. I had to stop the camera there for a second, man. I fried out my monitor. It's been running so long, got too hot. Wow, the power these cameras are outputting will destroy my setup. I wonder if this camera works if I go like that. Oh yeah, look at that. Very nice. Okay. Oh, that's how I had to focus like that. Like, oh, oh. There you go. It's a little trash can. It's pretty good though, like once it, once it works.